In order for recreational sports to operate in a smooth and efficient manner, we have established policies and procedures to maintain the safety and quality experience of our participants and to assist our team members in becoming successful in their positions. In this video, you will learn key policies and procedures for each of our recreational facilities and program areas. You will be able to refer to your program area resource guide, the Rec Sports website, or a full-time supervisor for more in-depth and additional area-specific policies and procedures. Participants who wish to use a rec sports facility must enter using a hand key or their Gator One card. No food, drink, or gum is permitted in our facilities except for water in a closed container. Alcohol and tobacco are not permitted in our facilities. Disorderly conduct, abuse, misuse, or disregard of our facilities, equipment, policies, or staff will not be tolerated and participants may be asked to leave. No pets except for service animals are permitted in our facilities at any time. All lockers within the facility are available for daily use only. Items left overnight will be removed and held for approximately one month. No photographic devices are permitted in the restrooms or locker rooms. Individuals wishing to take photos or videos in our facilities must be approved in advance through Rec Sports Marketing. Activity and service fee paying students are eligible to use Rec Sports programs and facilities. Some types of classes are not eligible as these do not require students to pay activity and service fees. Law and medical students have delayed semesters, however these participants must abide by the schedule outlined by the registrar. You have students, spouses or partners, faculty, staff and affiliates and their spouses or partners are eligible to purchase a membership and join the recreation and fitness centers to utilize our programs and services. In addition, faculty, staff, and their spouses are not required to have a membership in order to participate in intramural sports or sports clubs. However, these participants must purchase guest pass if they do not have a membership to access facilities for indoor sports. Please refer all questions about memberships to the Membership Service Office. At the Southwest Recreation Center and the Student Recreation and Fitness Center, participants are allowed to bring guests with their Gator One card. Those wishing to be a guest must purchase a $10 single-use guest pass for access to the Recreation and Fitness Centers, be sponsored and accompanied by a fee-paying student or a member of the Recreation and Fitness Centers, be at least 18 years of age, and present a government-issued picture ID card. Non-members who are utilizing the massage therapy services must also purchase a single-use guest pass in order to access the facility. At Lake Wahlberg, UVS Sand Volleyball, Graham, and Broward Pools, valid Gator One ID cardholders are allowed to bring up to four guests per visit at no cost. At Florida and O'Connell Center Pools, guests must sign into the pool guest book and present a government-issued ID card. At the Southwest Recreation Center, participants in intramural sports are allowed to sponsor spectators who would like to enter the facility to watch games. Those who wish to be spectators must be sponsored and accompanied by a fee-paying student or member, be at least 18 years of age, and be able to present government-issued identification. The sponsor must contact the membership office during business hours to make arrangements for a spectator pass wristband. Spectators will receive their wristband from the control desk when they arrive. It's very important to note that the sponsor must accompany the spectator into the facility. If a spectator attempts to obtain a wristband after a game has begun and the sponsor is not able to accompany the guest into the facility, a spectator wristband will not be provided. Upon exiting the building, spectators must have control desk staff remove the wristband and check it into the fusion system on the sponsor's behalf. Wristbands are for watching intramural games only. They do not give spectators access to equipment or services within the facility and should not be removed while inside. Any wristbands that have been removed by any means other than by a staff member cannot be checked in and will result in a $15 charge to the sponsor. Rec Sports team members must use the hand key or show their Gator 1 at all times when entering the facility, either for work or as a participant. Rec Sports does not sponsor OPS employees to receive a Gator 1 card. Team members should store their personal belongings while on shift in designated areas. Jackets may be checked out through the facility operations staff. Checked out jackets must be returned at the conclusion of your shift. Rec Sports participants may check out equipment by presenting their Gator One card or UFID number. Equipment available for checkout can be found on the Rec Sports website at recsports.ufl.edu. 
cardio and strength room participants are required to wear closed-toed, closed-heel athletic shoes and a shirt or sports bra at all times. The Olympic lifting area is a monitored controlled space where students who meet specific criteria may perform Olympic-style lifts. Equipment may not be altered or removed from the designated areas. All equipment must be placed in specific storage areas or under the direction of a uniformed rec sports staff member. Personal items such as backpacks are not permitted in the rooms unless placed in designated storage units. Staff members are not responsible for loss or stolen property. Rec sports personal trainers, small group training coaches, and approved rec sports staff members are the only approved users of the personal training studio. Personal training or private instruction at any rec sports facility is restricted to those individuals who are specifically employed by rec sports for this purpose. Intramural sports captains can complete the captain's training and register their team online through IM Leagues via the Intramural Sports webpage. An individual that does not have a team has a few options in order to get picked up as a free agent. Free agents can register through the IM Leagues webpage for specific times and leagues they are interested in playing or visit the Intramural Sports sites during normal game hours to find a team. Individuals interested in joining a sport club should contact one of the club officers or attend practice. There are no dues or fees in order to participate with a club. However, there may be an out-of-pocket expenses associated with certain activities such as travel or personal equipment. Most clubs typically practice three to four days a week. In order to use the ski, wakeboard, sailing, or paddleboard activities, participants must take and pass a swim test. Swim tests can be taken at the following locations, Lake Wahlberg, Florida Pool, or the O'Connell Center Pool. Personal gas-powered boats and jet skis are not permitted at Lake Wahlberg. Gator 1 ID holders may bring up to four guests. All guests using our core facility must be sponsored and accompanied by a valid Gator 1 card holder. Rec Sports reserves the right to refuse access to any participant. Each Gator 1 card holder may register one guest per trip, but must register in person at the core building. Guests must be at least 18 years old unless otherwise indicated. Individuals seeking access to core services may not solicit members to sponsor them as a guest. Core services are not eligible for refunds unless in the case of a service cancellation by Rec Sports. Only valid Gator 1 card holders may check out outdoor rental equipment. The renter must sign an equipment rental agreement at the time of the equipment checkout. These are some important policies and procedures you should be aware of at all times. If you have any further questions, please refer to your area manual, rec sports and motion training videos, other team members, or your supervisor. We appreciate your ownership and enforcement of rec sports policies and procedures.